This time on Football Heroes, we take a look at the young Argentine star who has been dubbed the next Maradona. We follow his career from club football to international stardom. During June 2004, a dream became reality for the teenager from Rosario. At only 17, and before he had played a senior game for Barcelona, Lionel Messi debuted for Argentina in an under-20 friendly match against Paraguay. In 2005, he led Argentina's under-20 side to victory in the FIFA World Youth Championship. Here, Messi showed his talents to the world and dominated the competition, scoring six times to claim the golden boot as well as the golden ball for best player. Thanks to this brilliant performance, Messi made his debut for Argentina on August 17, 2005. However, he wasn't given the chance to make much of an impression. As two minutes into his international career, he was controversially sent off for a stray elbow on defender Vilmos Van Jack. Despite this mishap, Leo stayed optimistic about his future and looked forward to the 2006 FIFA World Cup. There's only a short time to go and I haven't been able to play. There's a beautiful match going on which is the Champions League final, but I'm already living all the atmosphere. Everybody now is starting to talk about the World Cup. In this, all the teams are difficult. Nothing will be easy, but we have a great team, and I have no doubts that we're going to get through and do our best. The World Cup is regarded as the best and most global sporting competition the world has to offer. With 198 national football sides vying for the crown as the best football team on earth, after approximately three years of qualification, it comes to 32 countries and one month of cutthroat competition. In the 2006 World Cup, Argentina found themselves in Group C, a strong group that contained the Netherlands, Serbia and Montenegro and the Ivory Coast, who would be Argentina's first opponents. It is a very difficult match because it's the first match and they will do everything to win. They demonstrated that they can play very good football and they have a lot of good football players. But it's a difficult match because it's a World Cup match. And how did Messi cope with his rising popularity before the 2006 World Cup? The banner is very uncommon and very beautiful. Something so big and so special, I hope I can do my best to be worthy. I also hope that people will like it. Despite their tough group, Argentina advanced to round 16 undefeated. They were down by Mexico 2-1, but eventually lost in the quarterfinals to host country Germany in a penalty shootout. Another chance for Messi to find worldwide acclaim was the Summer Olympics, where he wanted to represent Argentina. However, FC Barcelona refused to let Messi leave mid-season, and a court of arbitration found that Barcelona were well within their rights to hold on to the talented midfielder. The CAS panel, composed of three arbitrators, found that Schalke, Werder Bremen and Barcelona had no legal obligation to release the players for the Olympic tournament, the players Rafinha, Diego and Messi. FC Barcelona's president, Joan Laporta, tried to explain that it wasn't personal. They were simply trying to look after their brand. Well, uh... We are trying to defend our interests and we're just doing uh, this with respect, with humility and, and trying to, 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 respect our, uh, to, to, to respect our rights. However, after talks with Barcelona manager Joseph Guardiola, Messi was eventually given permission to play in the 2008 Olympic Games.
After facing his World Cup rivals, the Ivory Coast and the Netherlands, Messi's Argentina then faced Ronaldinho's Brazil in the semi-final. But Messi's combination of speed and elusiveness proved too difficult for Brazil to match, and Argentina advanced to the final. In the gold medal match, Messi's talent once again shone through. His expertly timed pass found Damara in the 58th minute. Damara scored and won Argentina the gold, 1-0 against a competitive Nigeria. With the 2010 FIFA World Cup on the horizon, can Messi once again lead his country to victory? With the legend Diego Maradona as head coach, it seems that they have all the ingredients for success. Thus far in his international career, Messi has appeared 38 times for his country, scoring 12 times, including a double against Algeria in 2007. For an up-and-coming midfielder, Lionel Messi's height had always been a problem. But the diagnosis of a growth hormone deficiency could have been a blessing in disguise. The deficiency forced him to move to Europe, where he caught the eye of one of the greatest clubs in the world years earlier than he otherwise might have. FC Barcelona covered all of Messi's medical expenses, while he rewarded their faith by training hard and developing his skills at a great pace. Football great Sir Bobby Don't Charlton recognised this. Of Argentina, you know, but when you get a special one like Messi, who, who people talk about and they say, they, 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 they have so much expectation when people go to watch them. But he, he has proved that he's not only a very, very good boy, nice boy, he obviously listens. He became the third youngest player ever to play for Barcelona when he made his debut on October 16, 2004 against RCD Espanyol. He was only 17 years and 114 days. However, Messi wasn't just content to play in Barca's first side, he wanted to contribute. And on May the 1st, 2005, he scored his first senior club goal against Alpacete Balompe, at the time becoming the youngest ever player to score a goal in a La Liga game for Barcelona. In the upcoming seasons, Messi's star continued to rise. In the 2005-2006 season, he found the back of the net on six occasions in 17 league appearances. Unfortunately, his year ended prematurely as he suffered a muscle tear in his right thigh. The following season, Messi returned and continued to excite fans and dazzle opponents with his electric pace and gravity-defying ball control. His game had come so far that many believed he had surpassed teammate Ronaldinho as the best player in the world. For me, Leo Messi is the best player in the world right now. We could talk about Leo the entire news conference, but I think Leo's a phenomenon. Comparisons were drawn between Messi and the legendary Maradona, after Messi continued scoring goals at will, including becoming the first player in over a decade to score a hat-trick in El Clasico. After the exciting winger matched Maradona's goal of the century against Getafe during a Copa del Rey semi-final, it seemed the comparison was justified. The young Argentine was quickly dubbed Mesadona by the Spanish press. In his short career at Barcelona, Messi had appeared a total of 161 times and found the back of the net on 80 occasions. His record of a goal every two games is the same for European and Cup competitions. Since Messi arrived at the club, Barcelona have been La Liga champions three out of five seasons, as well as winning the UEFA Champions League twice. FC Barcelona has a long history of success, winning La Liga on 19 occasions. This brilliant record is only outdone by their rivals Real Madrid, who have amassed 31 La Liga championships. The FC Barcelona and Real Madrid rivalry is one of the fiercest rivalries in world sport. Their unrelenting competition against each other comes to a head at El Clasico, where the two sides meet twice yearly. Messi single-handedly kept Barca in El Clasico during the 2006-2007 season, when his hat-trick salvaged a game. His two goals against Real Madrid in 2009 saw Barca win 6-2 at Santiago Bernabeu. 
With this being the heaviest defeat for the Whites since the 1930s, Leo Messi remains FC Barcelona's greatest weapon against the old foe. It's hard to imagine that Lionel Messi, who so effortlessly dominates a football pitch, has spent the majority of his life battling adversity. Born on June 24, 1987, in the humble neighbourhood of Rosario, around 240 kilometres northwest of Buenos Aires, the young football prodigy loved the game from the very beginning. He spent his time playing football, but always with his companions, always surrounded by friends. He was always a kind of leader. His group was always there. Well, they went to play in all the games, but he was a charming kid and intelligent, but always shy, always humble. That humility that you see now, he's had from birth. It wasn't only his humility that won him attention during his childhood. The silky smooth skills we see today were apparent at a very early age. Whether it was on a makeshift pitch on the streets of his hometown or playing for Grandoli, a local club coached by his father, Lionel, or Leo for short, won not only games but countless friends with his football brilliance. Even one of Messi's primary school teachers remembered his astonishing talent and fondly recalls a boy who lived for the bell and dreamed of football fame. He was a football ace from very young because the only thing that interested him was the bell and that bell we had here in the patio so that he could leave for the makeshift football pitch and play football and everyone else behind him because they all realised that he was playing very well. They all wanted to be on his team because they knew he would win. After playing only a few seasons with Grandoli, Messi joined the junior ranks of Newell's old boys at the tender age of eight. While his football talent continued to blossom, at age 11, Messi was diagnosed with a growth hormone deficiency. With treatment for the disease costing upwards of $900 per month, an expense that Newell's nor the interested River Plate could afford, it was left to Lionel's parents, Jorge and Celia Messi, to foot the bill. Argentinians are passionate football fans. Players who lead their country to success on the pitch are treated not only as legends, but as gods back home. And Diego Maradona is the ultimate Argentinian football god. With figurines and statues erected in his honor and devoted fans following his every move, the now retired attacking midfielder is the most popular celebrity in all of Argentina. Despite battling drug addiction, weight issues and facing death on numerous occasions, his popularity and legend only continues to grow. The Maradona story gathered momentum in the 1986 FIFA World Cup. Although he was already marked as a brilliant player, it was during this tournament that Maradona caught the imagination of his fellow countrymen and brought home the World Cup trophy for the second time in a decade. Recognised as the FIFA Player of the Century, an award he shares with Pelé, there are many parallels between Maradona's game and the game of Lionel Messi. They are both short in stature, both having a blistering turn of speed, and both have the ability to tear apart a defence with swashbuckling evasive skills. Recognising the similarities, Maradona was keen to let fans know that Messi still had areas to improve on. But Messi still has many miles to go. I think he would be having only 10 years to improve his life. And it would be having a lot of time to improve. And I think he would be doing great in 2010. And I think he'd be doing like me. With Maradona appointed manager to lead Argentina to the 2010 World Cup, the praise continued with a standout display by Messi, with a friendly match against France in early 2009. He played fantastic. It's like the ball is an extension of his body.
Lionel Messi is surrounded by brilliant, experienced footballers whom he can go to for advice about football or life in general. Number one on his list of mentors is Carlos Tevez. Three years Messi's senior, Tevez has been playing professional football for almost a decade. With 51 caps for his country, the striker from Buenos Aires is renowned for his work ethic and never-say-die attitude. Currently playing for the Premier League side Manchester City, Tevez has been described by Maradona as the Argentine prophet for the 21st century. Another Argentine making waves is Juan Román Riquelme, who played alongside Messi in the 2008 Olympic Games. Despite no longer playing for the national team, his experience proved vital in Argentina claiming the gold medal. And veteran defender Carlos Puyol, who has played at FC Barcelona since 1995, has seen Messi transition from awkward teenager to the blistering talent we see today. Now in his 30s, Puyol, who is current captain with over 300 appearances for Barcelona, is the perfect mentor for Messi. Portuguese international and former FC Barcelona midfielder Deco is another footballer who has played a significant role in Messi's development. Currently playing for EPL club Chelsea, Deco lined up alongside Messi in Barca's midfield up until the 2008-2009 season. Joining Barcelona in 2007, Thierry Henry made an immediate impact, scoring 45 goals in 91 appearances for the Spanish club. The Frenchman's experience up front, as well as on the left wing, has proved to be invaluable for both Barca and Messi. In the 2008-2009 season, Henri played a pivotal role in Barcelona winning the treble, the Copa del Rey, La Liga and the UEFA Champions League. However, dual FIFA World Player of the Year, Ronaldinho, seems to have had the biggest influence on Leo Messi in his short career. Ronaldinho spent five years, between 2003 and 2008, playing for Barcelona. During this five-year period, the Brazilian attacking midfielder was clearly the best player in the world, winning 14 individual awards, but always remaining humble in the press, a trait that Leo Messi seems to have paid attention to. With comparisons to Maradona and clubs all over the world desperate to have Lionel Messi playing in their midfield, it was only a matter of time before the struggles of Rosario were a distant memory and Messi became one of the highest paid players in football. On August 7, 2009, Messi accepted a contract with FC Barcelona that saw him become the highest paid player at the club, overtaking Swedish striker Zlatan Ibrahimovic his new yearly income of 28.6 million euros can be broken down into three major segments. Salary, bonuses and sponsorships. Messi has two major sponsors which contribute around 20 million euros per year to his bank balance. Adidas and Pepsi. Adidas have been renowned for sponsoring football stars and creating clever marketing campaigns to promote not only their products but also the footballers. A famous footballer wearing Adidas clothing, especially Adidas football boots, can create millions of dollars in revenue for the sports company each year. The Adidas F50i was launched by Messi and Emmanuel Adebayor in mid-2009. The boot, which contains tunit technology, enables the user to tailor the boot to suit their needs. With their endorsements of the fashionable footwear, the new boots are likely to fly off the shelves. Pepsi, Messi's other major sponsor, have also included him in numerous advertising campaigns. In 2007, Messi went on a promotional tour of several major cities in China to promote a limited edition range of Messi Pepsi cans. Armies of fans greeted Messi in every city during his whirlwind tour of China. 3,000 lucky competition winners were given the chance of taking part in Pepsi's activities alongside their hero. As always, he was more than happy to demonstrate a few tricks for the adoring crowd. But the remaining 8.6 million euros comes from FC Barcelona. Barcelona pays him a yearly salary of 8.5 million euros, with bonuses of 0.1 million euros. With the average season containing around 40 games, that equates to 212,500 euros every time he steps out onto the pitch. 
According to France Magazine, in 2009, Lionel Messi was second on the list of the world's richest football players. David Beckham sits on top. Ronaldinho is a distant third on the list. With the majority of the modern day footballer's income coming from sponsors, image is everything. No longer does a player rely solely on playing ability, but also reputation and marketability. Lucky for Leo, he ticks all the boxes. Although Messi might not have the sex appeal of the likes of Beckham or Cristiano, his love of football and life in general is infectious. Not to mention his gentle smile and affectionate nature, which have not only won him over with the sponsors, but with millions of fans all over the world. Messi's journey to overcome adversity and reach his dream, a dream shared by so many children all over the world, also resonates with football fans, no matter what country they're from or which team they support. But then again, some fans just like him because he can play football. Messi's a new star, you know, rising. So what makes him so good? I mean, what makes him so popular? Uh, it's, it's, so, it's so quick, you know, and uh, his skill is really good. Yeah? So you can, you, can, you can see he's like a knife uh, through the, the field. It's really good. In his short career thus far, Leo Messi has won more awards than most footballers win in their entire career. With a trophy room resembling an Egyptian king's tomb, Messi has received 23 individual honours since 2004. These include three World Soccer Young Player of the Year awards, UEFA Champions League top scorer and the FIFA Team of the Year in 2007-2008. Whilst playing for FC Barcelona, he has won nine titles, including three La Liga championships and two UEFA Championships League. For Argentina, he has the FIFA Under-20 World Cup in 2005 and an Olympic gold medal at Beijing in 2008. Still only in the very early stages of his career, the future looks extremely bright for the midfielder from Rosario, Argentina. Already considered one of the best players of his generation, if he continues to progress at this current rate, there is no doubt Lionel Messi will become one of the greatest footballers of all time.